Oh man, just made it to the stadium. It's about uh, 5.10, so I'm an hour later than usual. Unfortunately, didn't get to do BP today. I tried doing Amazon in LA for the first time. It's never gonna happen again. Um, I know LA is very complicated when it comes to their parking and traffic. I definitely didn't see it being that complicated though. I didn't even get to finish delivering. I had to take back like nine packages. But anyways, I'm here now. Um, so hopefully the rest of the day goes as planned. We got my eight on the mound. Um, hopefully pull away with the series win tonight and then sweep tomorrow. We'll, uh, looked like a pretty decent lineup tonight. Got Seegers back in. Kike's at second. I believe Barnes is behind the plate tonight, but um, kind of need a good outing from Maeda. He's sort of struggled lately. He hasn't looked the greatest on the mound. So if we could get a good five or six innings from him tonight against the Marlins, big confidence boost, hopefully. Uh, would be great to have him turn it around. We don't really have any other righties besides him and Bueller, and Bueller's getting sent back down from what they're saying after Saturday's game. Um, he's actually in Rancho right now. Uh, and for people freaking out, it's not a big deal. He's in Rancho because Rancho is closer than OKC, but he is still supposed to be pitching Saturday's game, the uh, first one, the earlier one. Just don't freak out. We'll see him again. It's not a big deal that he's down at Rancho. It's not like he got demoted all of a sudden after last night. So just trust the front office, trust Roberts, trust Friedman, Farhan. Even if you don't like him, just give him a shot. But I'm gonna walk up to top deck now. Um, luckily had a... Uh, Luckily, I had a friend on Twitter pretty much save my life today. She sent me, she had an extra parking pass and she sent it to me because there's no way my parking spots would have been, my free ones would have been open today. So huge shout out to her. She saved me. So I'm already in the stadium. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to do miserable walk up those stairs and get up to top deck luckily it's not too hot today brought more layers too so that way I'm actually warm for once but gonna get up there and see what's going on and catch up with you guys in a little bit all right so I made it up to top deck uh, gonna show you guys today's giveaway it's the it's time for Dodger baseball alarm clock it's so cute it's so small there it is as you can see it fits in the palm of my hand um there's like a light switch on the back which i guess lights up right there <laughs> but the uh the sound is quite annoying so look at that yeah so oh god so yeah there we go that's that's the giveaway for today's game it's pretty cool but just wanted to show you guys that really quickly comes with a battery luckily that way I can have it set but anyways that's all I wanted to show you and of course the view because you can never get enough of this view but anyways I'm gonna go relax and catch my breath because I'm like exhausted from trying to rush here so really quickly I just learned about the uh, clock anytime let me see look no wrong one shoot Hang on, I got this. I'll show you guys. Oh, it's so hard to do with only one hand. But, oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, now it's not gonna do it, of course. But when I just had it, it uh, it it was going off when it hit 710, because you know that's the time the Dodgers always play at usually. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even mean to do it. I was just I was actually trying to turn the clock to 710 and. It ended up going off, so pretty cool. Well, I just realized that I never showed you guys the giveaways from last night, which are the baseball cards, um, and I will be giving these away on my Twitter.
Twitter. It's up right now. So if you don't follow me, go find me on there at Dodgers underscore Randy. And then uh, you can go ahead and enter that. So this is off of the, I think it was the 70s. Yeah, the 70s collection. So there's the Bellinger. Uh, we're just grateful, man. Just thankful for this. It's been an excellent weekend. This was definitely a highlight of this week. You can hold daddy's ball. You can hold daddy's ball. Yeah, yeah pull out because they're about to play, girls. CT3. Silver Fox. JT. And of course, Don Sutton. So if you want a chance to win any of these cards, just go ahead, give me a follow on Twitter, and it'll be on there. Who is that? Feels like... Feels like a artificial bait. Is it? Is that a fishing floor? Yeah, that thing is gross, though. level. Unfortunately, the Marlins tied the game up uh, back in the third inning. The Dodgers have yet to do anything besides the one run. So we're still tied at 1-1, bottom of the seventh. Dodgers have four hits. Marlins have four hits. So seventh inning stretch right now. Hopefully we can score some runs. Don't want a loss and don't want extra innings. Utley's up to the plate, and it's a 3-2 count. If he reaches base, the, top, the Dodgers take the lead. of a bad baseball game uh that really really sucked it's it was bad all around uh I mean five hits against the Miami Marlins well, the team has like two or three wins I think all season they're garbage they are tanking but not intentionally tanking according to Jeter yet they can't do anything on offense against them um they left eight men on base, which you just, you can't do, especially against a team like this, especially with the bases loaded. That is the most frustrating thing a team can do. It's leaving the bases loaded and walking someone with the bases loaded are so frustrating. And it's like, it's tough to be like accepting as a fan when they do that. Like Baez came in with the game tied and he sucked it up. Um, yes, obviously, as a lot of you know, I'm a big fan of his just for the support reason, but he sucked it up. First two batters, he just couldn't do it, and then he calmed down, settled down, and did great. But it doesn't matter because at that point he already blew the lead, but it's not just on him. Um, nobody really did their job tonight besides Maeda. Maeda did great, and nobody supported him. The run support, the bullpen, um, Hudson, as someone just reminded me on Twitter, he actually did really well tonight, uh, so no blame to him. Singrani gave up hits or a hit. I think it was a walk and then he balked. Um, it's hard to see the balk call in person. They don't replay it or anything from what I hear. It was a BS call. 
either way, he gave up the hit with the guy in running run, with, with the guy in scoring position, and that's really all that matters, whether the ball call was BS or not. Yes, it matters for us as fans, but it doesn't matter when that's the outcome of the game. You've got to find a way to work around it, and they just they couldn't. Um, so, I mean, not upset with Singrani. He's done great for us ever since he's come over. So, it just it wasn't a good game for me more than anything. I'm frustrated with the offense. Uh, and, of course, Baez in the ninth inning, it, it's like he does well sometimes, and then he just falls apart other times. And it, in the ninth inning when it's tied, I also just don't know how I feel about him coming in there when we know the struggles he has. Um, I think he's a good 7th and 8th inning pitcher when you need three outs, but I don't know about putting the game, the pressure on him. He's yet to show he can handle it, so I just don't know how I feel about that and him constantly being put in those positions when he's not succeeding. I would just rather make him a 7th and 8th inning guy and, like, when the runs are up, like, when the team's up, do it, or when the team's down and down and out, like, whatever, let him pitch, but... I don't know. It was just, it was a tough night tonight. The offense didn't come through. The bullpen didn't come through. Um, and it's just, it's hard to watch games like this. But anyways, it is what it is. They lost. Uh, not the end of the world. I think they're 11 and 11 now. We'll be back here tomorrow. The game is at 435, I think. So I will be here at 135 for BP and to hang out early. So I'm sure you guys didn't enjoy that game, but I hope you at least enjoyed your night and I'll catch up with you guys all tomorrow. All right. Bye.